Today, I'm going to show you a demo of Pressbooks results for LMS within Canvas. So first, what I want to show you is how this is configured uh, within Pressbooks. So before you can get started, you'll need to ask your network manager to turn on grade reporting for your book. So what the network manager will do is they'll go into the network admin settings. Um, from there, they will go to the book list to find your book, and they can turn on grade reporting from there. So my book today that I will be sharing with you is the LTI demo book. So if I just quickly search here from the list, um, you can see I've made a few clones of this book. Uh, and as a network manager, if I scroll over to the side, um, I've got a column here that says allows grading. Now I can simply turn this on and off at a quick click of a button. So I can see that this, uh, this has been turned on for all of my LTI demo books. Uh, so that is great. That means I'm ready to start um, setting up my chapters uh, for grade reporting. All right, so I'm gonna navigate back to my LTI demo book here, which I've set up uh, for you guys today. Um, I've got three chapters nested under a main part called reading exercises. And now that grade reporting has been turned on, I'm gonna have a new uh, window available to me within my, uh, my visual editor here. So if you're familiar with Pressbooks, you know this is where you come in to author each and every chapter. Now at the bottom of the chapter, uh, as I scroll through here, I mean, you'll see I've got a few H5P activities embedded throughout that I would like to record student performance on. And now at the bottom here, you're gonna see a new window that says LMS grade reporting. So here's where I can configure a few settings for how I want these H5P activities to be graded. So here you will see a list of the three activities uh, that I've embedded throughout my chapter. You can see what the maximum score a student can attain on each of those activities. And then I also have the option to remove them from this list. So if I decide, you know what, I only want to grade uh, the last two activities here, I could remove this first one from the list. It will not remove the activity from the chapter itself. It will just mean that this activity is not being counted towards the grade. Next, I can decide whether I wanna restrict the time frame for when uh, I'm recording these grades on these activities. Uh, we recognize this is also a setting that you can configure within the LMS. So this is left blank by default. And then finally, you get to decide how you would like to record the student scores. So right now I've got this chapter set up to record the last attempt that the student is making. And I'm doing that for demo purposes here today but you also have the option to decide uh, whether you wanna record the average attempt, the best or the first attempt that the student is making um, on these activities. So now that I've got this uh, all configured and set up, um, I have pulled this, this content into Canvas. And what I wanna show you today is uh, what this looks like from a student's perspective when they go through and test out the activities on these chapters and how that is recorded in the LMS gradebook. So if I navigate over to Canvas here, uh, I'm currently logged in as a student. You can see uh, the structure of the book is here. I've got a module called reading exercises with the various uh, chapters nested underneath here. Now, before I go into a chapter and uh, test out my luck and, and, and receive a grade, um, I want to quickly show you uh, the grade book here. So I've actually already gone through as a student and attempted uh, each activity. And you can see here that uh, I've got quite a, a low score on this last activity uh, or this last chapter here. So what I'm gonna show you today is uh, a, a demo of me attempting to improve this score since I know that it is recording my last attempt. I wanted to be able to show you uh, the live update. So this shows you that uh, students do not need to wait in order to get the feedback in the gradebook. It is synced live. So let's go back into uh, the course itself and reattempt my luck uh, on this, this chapter. And let's see if I can do better than two out of 16 and we will see my, my score live update there. So if I go through here, I know that she did publish during her lifetime. So I'm gonna say this one is false. I can check my work and we can see that I'm already, I've got one point so far. Next, uh, I know that Lincoln's general was Samuel Whiteside. So I will check that and go on to the next. Black Hawk was the leader of the Sauk people. Future President Lincoln served in the Black Hawk War. Black Hawk was 65. And uh, you can see here the instructor gave me a little hint 
I click on that, it says the capital is Madison so that I know it's the state of Wisconsin. Um, you can see I've been studying this chapter a little bit so that I can improve my result here for you guys. Next, we've got another uh, question type. Uh, this is a select the word activity. Uh, so in this case, we're using it for rhyme words, but I've also seen uh, language instructors use it for, uh, for students to select um, the properly conjugated verb, for example. There's a few different ways you can use this, uh, this type of activity. So here we're, we're so far so good. Uh, this poem is sympathetic. And finally, uh, I believe this one is false. There we go. And lastly, I've got uh, just a, a dummy question here. I can see this first answer is incorrect. And we've got three correct answers down here. So now you should see in my grade book, as a student, I should have uh, 16 out of 16 on this assignment. So we'll just give it a, a moment to load. And there you have it, I've improved my grade and you can see that live update is happening. So not only does the student get to see this right away, you as the instructor would also be able to see this. So that's exactly what I wanted to show you today for Pressbooks results. If you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach me at sales at pressbooks.com. I hope you all have a wonderful day.